to a chaotic scene near Guaranteed Rate Field as multiple people are left injured during a hit and run case just before last night's White Sox game. Yeah, a whole lot of people in the hospital this morning. Joni standing by live with the tales. Good morning. Good morning. Police are investigating why a car full of people would plow into a crowd that was just trying to make their way into Guaranteed Rate Field last night just before the game. And now police are reviewing their procedures, trying to keep fans safe on game day after last night's crash. Uh, four fans were hurt in a hit and run incident on 35th Street right outside the stadium a half hour before the game. Police say a silver sedan was speeding eastbound, hit the pedestrians, and kept going onto the Dan Ryan Expressway. One of the people hit went over the car and into the sunroof of the car and remained there until police stopped that driver on the Dan Ryan at 47th Street. Police took four people into custody. They are also hospitalized. The victims are two women and two men ranging in age from 24 to 64. One woman saw the injured and she said everyone was upset. It's traumatizing. It's nerve-wracking. Um, people need to slow down, but people aren't going to slow down. They need to put other measures in, like block these streets off so these people can go to and from the game and get there safely and get home safely. They're on the main way from the parking lots into the stadium. There's another game tonight at 7:10. It's Pride Night. Uh, so White Sox face the Rangers tonight. Authorities have not yet announced whether there are charges against that driver. Reporting live, I'm Joni Long. Now back to you. Joni, appreciate that.